I showed us what we need to do to turn from corruption into glory. And I mentioned three things. Number one, I said the consciousness of the world. Number two, I said the, the act of stirring your spirit. And I said number three is taking action. There are persons who have the right consciousness because they know the doctrine correctly, but their spirit is never stirred up. And so even though they know the right thing, they take action, they are still barren. There's no result. And there are other persons who are stirring themselves. They are fasting, they are praying in tongues. In fact, they pray in tongues until smoke is coming out of their head. But they still don't have result because they are praying in tongues with the wrong consciousness. And so in order to walk in glory and in victory, you must first of all come down to examine what you were taught. Is it correct? If what you are taught is correct, it becomes your consciousness. Present our consciousness. Now that your consciousness is right, you now begin to charge your spirit. That's when you pray. That's when you fast. That's when you praise the Lord. I showed us what we need to do to turn from corruption into glory. And I mentioned three things. Number one, I said the consciousness of the world. Number two, I said the, the act of stirring your spirit. And I said number three is taking action. There are persons who have the right consciousness because they know the doctrine correctly, but their spirit is never stirred up. And so even though they know the right thing, they take action, they are still barren. There's no result. And there are other persons who are stirring themselves. They are fasting, they are praying in tongues. In fact, they pray in tongues until smoke is coming out of their head. But they still don't have result because they are praying in tongues with the wrong consciousness. And so in order to walk in glory and in victory, you must first of all come down to examine what you were taught. Is it correct? If what you are taught is correct, it becomes your consciousness. Present our consciousness. Now that your consciousness is right, you now begin to charge your spirit. That's when you pray. That's when you fast. That's when you praise the Lord. Be still and know that I am God. When men have done their worst, then the stage is set for God to do his best. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not experience the intervention of God until they had entered into the fire. God did not stop Daniel on the road from entering the lion's den. It was in the middle of the lion's den that he stepped in and said, okay, those who wanted you dead, they are finished. Now I start. God did not prevent Pilate from crucifying Jesus. He didn't prevent him from burying him. Her life is changed. For 430 years, this cruel beast of a king called Pharaoh, all kinds of pharaohs came and left, oppressing God's people. And suddenly God placed this grace upon the nation of Israel. And the same Pharaoh who oppressed them, the Bible says he gave them so much gifts, they were in a hurry to go out, they did not even allow their cake to the door to rise. Who likes you in this kingdom matters. Write this down. All blessings come from God through men to men. This is a powerful spiritual information. Please pay attention. These truths will help you to excel and serve the purposes of the kingdom and to live a very victorious Christian life while living out your destiny. Understand this. All blessings come from God. Be still and know that I am God. When men have done their worst, then the stage is set for God to do his best. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not experience the intervention of God until they had entered into the fire. God did not stop Daniel on the road from entering the lion's den. It was in the middle of the lion's den that he stepped in and said, okay, those who wanted you dead, they are finished. Now I start. God did not prevent Pilate from crucifying Jesus. He didn't prevent him from burying him. Her life is changed. 
For 430 years, this cruel beast of a king called Pharaoh, all kinds of Pharaohs came and left, oppressing God's people. And suddenly God placed this grace upon the nation of Israel and the same Pharaoh who oppressed them. The Bible says he gave them so much gifts, they were in a hurry to go out. They did not even allow their cake to the door to rise. Who likes you in this kingdom matters. Write this down. All blessings come from God through men to men. This is a powerful spiritual information. Please pay attention. These truths will help you to excel and serve the purposes of the kingdom and to live a very victorious Christian life while living out your destiny. Understand this. All blessings come from God. So two or three people can be saved. Genuinely so. And yet the possibilities, the results that they command differ. It is not necessarily a product of the will of God. It is not necessarily a product of one situation being greater than another. For one he has found, he is tapped into a fountain of endless supply. The grace that energizes, the grace that enables, always rising up to the challenge, the quality of being sufficient adequate so when a project comes for instance and you need two billion naira you will see the person standing you size him and there is nothing there except that he will invite you for the dedication and you are looking with all kinds of suspicion something is not fair in this equation you are right but it is called grace so two or three people can be saved genuinely so and yet the possibilities, the results that they command differ. It is not necessarily a product of the will of God. It is not necessarily a product of one situation being greater than another. For one he has found, he is tapped into a fountain of endless supply. The grace that energizes, the grace that enables, always rising up to the challenge, the quality of being sufficient adequate so when a project comes for instance and you need two billion naira you will see the person standing you size him and there is nothing there except that he will invite you for the dedication and you are looking with all kinds of suspicion something is not fair in this equation you are right but it is called grace and visions of you having a great life does not automatically translate to a life of victory you were given great exceeding great and precious promises apostle you don't know my background the gift still is unto you he said for the promise is unto you and unto your children is that in your bible your children's children as many as are afar off even as many as the lord will call please listen very carefully exceeding great and precious promises we have been celebrating the promises forever and yet we have not been able to understand the spiritual technology of transacting these promises to now appear in our lives huh. be still and know that I am God. When men have done their worst, then the stage is set for God to do his best. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not experience the intervention of God until they had entered into the fire. God did not stop Daniel on the road from entering the lion's den. It was in the middle of the lion's den that he stepped in and said, okay, those who wanted you dead, they are finished. Now I start. God did not prevent Pilate from crucifying Jesus. He didn't prevent him from burying him. He didn't prevent him from going into the lower part of the earth. But when they are finished and they said he is gone, and they said, we have succeeded, we have concluded. 
and he imagine what will happen to you if you believed this I can do all things he's not talking of all negative things he's not talking of the concept of all things is all things that are in line with my purpose all things that are in line as far as God's expectation for me is concerned you get the idea now I can do all things that means you have taken away that limitation from your life that in your mind and in your life the only limitation to your advancement is the voice of God and process but as far as mountains are concerned you have sustained through this spiritual intelligence the ability to not even recognize their presence I can do all things imagine that someone begins to make that statement as a tenant I can do all things as a man of God you've not even started ministry I can do all things and you look at the map of the world you are imagine what will happen to you if you believed this I can do all things he's not talking of all negative things he's not talking of the concept of all things is all things that are in line with my purpose all things that are in line as far as God's expectation for me is concerned you get the idea now I can do all things that means you have taken away that limitation from your life that in your mind and in your life the only limitation to your advancement is the voice of God and process but as far as mountains are concerned you have sustained through this spiritual intelligence the ability to not even recognize their presence I can do all things imagine that someone begins to make that statement as a tenant I can do all things as a man of God you've not even started ministry I can do all things and you look at the map of the world you are whole so when God graciously participates in your life your success your destiny and now coordinates men to also support the course of your life and your destiny we say you are favored and I told you favor is not unmerited favor is merited proverbs chapter 13 and verse 15 here's the scripture that the lord gave me to deliver me from that understanding that favor is unmerited please read with me if you're a child of god ready one to read good understanding giveth favor but the way of transgressors is hard one more time uh-huh now please keep that scripture there I understand this scripture to be in uh, for as long as we ignore the supremacy of the word for as long as we do not contend for transformation there will be gaps in our perceiving the will of God as far as spiritual communication is concerned the more you immerse yourself in the word the more you are giving your mind healthy scriptural tools which wish to interpret the speakings the light of God so when God graciously participates in your life your success your destiny and now coordinates men to also support the course of your life and your destiny we say you are favored and i told you favor is not unmerited favor is merited proverbs chapter 13 and verse 15. here's the scripture that the lord gave me to deliver me from that understanding that favor is unmerited please read with me if you're a child of god ready one to read good understanding giveth favor but the way of transgressors is hard one more time uh-huh now please keep that scripture there i understand this scripture to be in um you've heard me my understanding about wealth is not about acquiring cars and houses if the kingdom does not have the kingdom cannot stand because of your being wealthy it is absolute nonsense as far as kingdom come is concerned are we together now yes 
the men of Issachar had understanding of the times. You must know how to discern. You must know how to discern. You must know how to discern. Lord, this business idea looks wonderful and my brain seems to agree with it. But can you give me a moment? Let me go to God in the place of prayer and hear what he has to say. God will only take responsibility for what he initiated. If you initiate it, it means you have vetted that you have the power to manage the outcomes that come there. Hallelujah. That is why we lack power in the body of Christ. It is not about physical strength. It is about discernment. More love. More power. More of you in my... This is a missing link on many pulpits. There are people who have already given themselves to compromise. Our, our assignment is to lovingly draw their attention to return back to the cross in sincerity. We don't condemn. There are people who are determined to not change. We wish them well and we trust that the power of God will draw them to the cross. But there are sincere people who are wondering. They love God but no salvation, no healing, no nothing. Some of you are watching right now as I'm speaking. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. He calls it the power of God. All this explanation without results. There are people who need empowerment. The Greek seeks for a sign. We live in a world right now where just talking about marketing a, a Jesus like you are marketing orange juice will only bring you disappointment. There has to be a move of authentic faith.